Review time. This is a item that caught my eye in the store. It's called the MobiGo one-time phone charger. Uh, it plugs into your uh, iPhone. There's a one-time use battery that comes with it and it charges your phone. I'm sure it probably works, but uh, what caught my eye is how expensive it was. It was $9.99. Uh, and then if you want to buy uh, replacement batteries, they sell for um, even the six pack here, I was put the uh, price of $3.66 each for one, one battery. And of course, I guess that's their business model. They sell this little adapter here Then you're supposed to go to your local stockist and grab a, uh, a battery and of course then recharge your phone and make their money by charging too much for batteries. Um, but I think it's like absurdly too much for batteries. Uh, batteries for the longest time have been standardized. For, for example, this AA battery, something you can purchase uh, just about anywhere. Uh, well, for, for example, uh, on Amazon right now, you can buy um, them for 31 cents a piece. And uh, even if you really discharge this battery hard, it's got at least a 0.7 amp hours of capacity. So uh, there's one of two things going on here. Either this is a, just a fantastic battery, well worth it, so $3.66. Uh, or this is just simply an absurd product. So I just popped open the uh, little canister which holds the battery. And by the way, it's not sonically welded or anything, so it's actually fairly easy to snap open and battery snap back together. Um, that's a bit of a mistake on their part if they're trying to convince customers to buy this as a disposable item because what pops out is a, a very regular battery. It's a CR123A. It's a lithium battery, 3 volts. It comes from a, a company, uh, let me just pop up the data sheet here. Uh, they're known as a Power Glory Battery Tech Company. Um, and uh, it has a nominal capacity of 1.8 amp hours and uh, a fairly surprisingly uh, low uh, pulse current, 100 milliamps. So you really can't draw it really hard or fast on this battery. More importantly though, uh, this battery uh, is uh, not much better than a, or much, uh, it's a little bit worse actually than a AA battery. So um, when you draw a AA, uh, all my websites are showing me you can get at least uh, two amp hours, two and a half amp hours of a AA. And uh, that's a bit of a problem because obviously pretty expensive. Now, first cost saving is you can actually just simply go off and buy a 12 pack of CR123As and I guess just keep on reusing this canister. Um, here's a listing I'd found. They come in at $1.63 each. And uh, of course, that would be the first approach here if you're actually interested in this form factor and saving money. Uh, here's a little uh, thing that uh, clicks onto the battery. Um, and I guess you put it onto your keychain. Let's uh, price out the uh, AA battery closer. So I guess what the, the real problem with this model is that uh, the AA battery is such a uh, more convenient and obviously much easily purchased item. Uh, in fact, chargers already exist to take AA batteries. Let me pop up a classic listing from, again, Amazon. Uh, $3.02 uh, for the uh, whole item. In fact, that's a Canadian price, so it was American even cheaper. And it just uses cheap AA batteries. So you can throw in 60 cents of batteries and off you go, and you get the same same effect as this thing here. So um, this company's doing a couple of things that just don't seem to make sense. They're obviously trying to redefine the standard energy container and then sell it as a uh, an item. Uh, unfortunately, that that's all been well settled uh, decades ago in this kind of form factor. So it's hard to imagine that this uh, particular form factor would receive any sort of significant use. So the chance of you finding one of these uh, in a store is, is quite limited. Um, and the second problem is, of course, simply it's just uh, tremendously overpriced compared to uh, solutions that already exist. In fact, almost 10 times more. Uh, no matter. Uh, let's, um, let's take apart the charger and let's see how they, they built that little circuit board. Uh, so the little plastic case easily peeled off and it exposes a, a very straightforward circuit board. In fact, more straightforward than I would have expected. Uh, obviously, this is the lightning connector on this side here. And you can see a lot of uh, single placements of transistors, not very sophisticated uh, parts at all. And you flip it over and uh, there's an inductor here and a diode and a power switch to turn it on and off. Uh, and a few discretes, but not much else. No real sort of sophisticated integrated circuit, and I guess that surprised me a little bit, because I thought the Lightning Protocol had some level of sophistication in it. Uh, the only other thing that's kind of interesting is they use these little pogo pins that uh, are generally uh, found in uh, automatic test equipment, so that's kind of a cute little thing. Uh, certainly an economic little circuit board, uh, and uh, this seems uh, well considered in terms of... Um, building something inexpensive. The mechanical stability though, this little connector uh, certainly just seems to be hanging here, so where that would uh, of course snap off eventually, but um, on that, uh, a really straightforward uh, approach. Uh, the only thing I really can say is it just doesn't seem like that uh, you could establish a market trying to uh, sell these and charge uh, so much for the uh, replaceable battery uh, when there's just other options out there that uh, are much more economical.